Hi, this is Pastor James coming to you with an uplifting message to give you some encouragement. And after this message, I'd like to share some things that are going on in the life of our congregation and our community that I believe God wants you to be a part of. Now, the big idea I want to share with you right now is a simple one, but it's designed to help you grow spiritually. Now, it's this idea that it's tempting for people to give up. You know, you are going to encounter challenges and obstacles in your life. And those obstacles are going to become reasons that you have for not continuing forward. My question for you is this simple one. Uh, what reasons do you have for giving up on what God is calling you into, on, on this thing, this special thing that God wants you to do in your life? Now, every time that you encounter an obstacle or a challenge, and even if you pass that obstacle or, or go around it and find some way forward in spite of it, that obstacle can tend to live in your subconscious and actually be bigger in your imagination than it ever was in life. And sometimes we fail to speak those things, uh, fail to be truthful about the obstacles that we've encountered or the things that are keeping us from moving forward in the way that God wants us to. So I want you to start thinking about what those obstacles are and actually to voice them because in a way, if you don't voice the obstacles that you have in your life, if you don't acknowledge them, then in a way you're already giving up. This is what the Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 through 10. Make no mistake, God is not mocked. A person will harvest what they plant. Those who plant only for their own benefit will harvest devastation from their selfishness. But those who plant for the benefit of the Spirit the harvest, will harvest eternal life from the Spirit. Let's not get tired of doing good because in time we'll have a harvest if we don't give up. So then let's work for the good of all whenever we have an opportunity and especially for those in the household of faith. Now here's the big idea that we should use our energy to help others and to not give up. There's a lot of reasons to give up but if we recognize that the work that we're doing is going to produce a harvest, it is going to make an impact. And even though we can't see it in the moment, we can be encouraged by the truth that God is using what we do in powerful and mighty ways that will be evident, that will be visible, that will be tangible in the future. And so be encouraged when the world around you, when the people around you are just normally giving up because they don't see the fruit of their efforts right away, you can be encouraged because God promises you that there will be a great harvest. There will be an abundant, abundant harvest in the future, but you just got to keep at it. You got to keep focused and you don't give up. And this is the key. You've got to do it for others. You've got to do what you do, not just for yourself. And doing it for yourself is empty. But when you do it for other people, you are going to experience an abundance. That's where the fruit is going to lie. So my encouragement to you is don't give up. Stay focused. And God is going to do great things in and through you. And when you hit that obstacle, don't be afraid to voice it or speak it. Say, this is in my way. This is what I'm seeing. And this is keeping me back. And share that with other people. Not because they'll have the answers or solutions to it, but because acknowledging that obstacle is to disempower it, to take it out of the imaginary and bring it to the practical so it doesn't have so much power over your mind and your heart and your soul. And so then you can devise a strategy for moving forward. I love you. And I always think about ways that perhaps God can use these words in order to lift you up and give you encouragement, even in the very simple things that you're doing, whether you're trying to move forward physically, spiritually, mentally, socially, whatever it is, I pray that these words, these words would really resonate and actually bring about transformation in your life. Now, here's a couple things that are going on in the life of our congregation. We have a new worship leader coming to Highlands Church. At the beginning of July, he'll start leading worship, but he'll be here this Sunday, June 25th, and we want you to be here to say hi to him. Now, if you want a special sneak peek, we do have an event happening Saturday, June 24th. Now, that's going to be happening up at a ranch. And the way to get there is to meet here at Highlands Church for all men. At 8.30 in the morning on Saturday, June 24th, meet here at Highlands Church. And we will carpool up to this beautiful ranch up above Lake San Antonio. It's about 35 minutes away from Highlands Church. And the carpool itself will be a fantastic part of the experience. But when we get there, there will be a camp breakfast provided by our rancher. And we are going to have an opportunity for all the guys to get to know Bill Luton, our new worship leader, who's going to be there. Come with a good question if you want to ask Bill a question and get to know him a little bit. And we pray that this will develop community and relationships, and will actually help people to come to know the hope and joy of Jesus even more. 
because God has intended for us to live in community and for us to learn the joy of lifting each other up and encouraging each other and supporting each other every step of the way. So again, Saturday, June 24th, that's only one day away, 8.30 in the morning at Highlands Church. That's where we'll depart at 8.30 and we'll go up there and we're gonna have specialty coffee by our own Connor Dirks, who is a coffee connoisseur. And he'll have that up there at the ranch for us as well. Now, another thing that I really want you to pay attention to is this Highlands 101 or this intro to Highlands that we're having on Sunday, June 25th. Now, whether you're new to Highlands or whether you've been at Highlands a long time, this is the introduction to Highlands Church. This is, hey, what is Highlands Church about? Now, that's important if you haven't gone to this for many years because you may be wondering, what is our mission? What's our vision? Where are we headed? This is the clearest and most specific, specific articulation of what Highlands is and where we're going. And anybody and everybody who wants to be a part of what God is doing here should check it out. We also have... Highlands Beach Baptisms on Sunday, August 6th, and also opportunities to join the church. So if you want that Sunday, August 6th to be your beach baptism, or perhaps your rededication to Jesus in your life, or even just joining Highlands Church, you're moving from another church, or, or you, you really want to get to know what it means of to grow spiritually in Jesus Christ, then come to this Highlands 101. We'll have a free lunch. It'll be after the second service around 1130 on Sunday, June 25th. And that's at uh, Highlands Church here and, and downstairs, actually in my office. So look forward to seeing you there. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to say is thank you. Uh, we have communicated more and more uh, that we need financial support this year. We need additional financial support. Why? Because the ministry need has grown, but the financial resources have not. This is a very hard economy right now. And during hard economy times, there is a reality. People sometimes have less to give. So if you have more to give, would you consider, if you've been blessed in any way, if you've found that God has given you an abundance in a time when other people are not, we want to take that abundance and we want to use it on your behalf to bless other people. We want to use it for the ministries here. We want to use it for the things that are bringing actually support and sustenance to the poorest people in our community. We want to use it for the children and the students here at Highlands Church. And so this is a time that we're asking you to be prayerful about how you're supporting Highlands. And if you can give more, we ask you to just dig a little deeper and help us out with that. And when you do that, we always want you to know this. We are always so, so thankful for your support because we see it as actually God's blessing coming through you like a supernatural experience. God's blessing coming through you and that blessing being multiplied. You know, it's a small blessing that you give and then as you invest in God's plan for the world in this kingdom, this joyful experiment of, of loving one another and loving God, you know, as you do that, you see that it's not a small blessing you give, but it's a radical big blessing that blesses the entire world. So please prayerfully think about what God is calling you to give. Spend some time in prayer. And then be bold enough and courageous enough to move beyond the obstacles and the challenges and the big things that have grown up in your imagination, bigger than they even were in reality in the past. And be courageous enough. Speak those obstacles. Share them with us. And then move forward. And of course, if you need help, let us know. We are here for you. We love you. We will be here not just today, tomorrow. We will be here for you a decade from now or 20 years from now or a hundred years from now. We are the body of Christ. And so when you're ready, we are here. When you ask for help, we're ready to help. We love you and we care about you. And we're always, always thinking of ways to help you experience the hope and joy of Jesus through this un unbelievable blessing of community that God has given us. Take care and God bless.